Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here with a pretty random uh, Yu-Gi-Oh video. Uh, if anyone is a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, you'll probably know that today the kind of uh, V-Jump details came out detailing some more stuff about the 6th Yu-Gi-Oh series, uh, Vrains, and specifically what the new summoning method is for that uh, uh, show is going to be. It's going to be called Link Summoning. And along with explaining link, link summoning, they explained how it basically changes completely how like other summoning methods work as well. Pendulum summoning has changed, um, as most people are freaking out that it's basically destroyed like decks that focus in, around Xyz summoning a lot or Synchro summoning a lot. And I'm a huge fan of the uh, Synchron deck, so for me I was just like, oh no, my, my shooting Quasar Dragon deck is gone. And I immediately got to thinking like, can you still summon Quasar Dragon on first turn with the new summoning methods? So this is obviously a bit of a kind of stacked deck scenario, but I think it is a legal way to summon still on the first turn uh, Quasar Dragon with a little bit of luck. So uh, the setup is that the deck I'm running here is the standard um, Junk Doppel um, deck. So, you know, the usual stuff, Junk Synchron, Quick Draw Synchron, Doppel, uh, and Level Eater. Um, so, I, f from what I could tell, like there, there's probably more clever people in Yu-Gi-Oh who know how to do this better, but let's assume we are taking the second turn of the duel. So we draw six cards in our opening hand. Um, they have summoned something to the field, and the six cards that we draw are these. So we draw Doppel Warrior, Junk Synchron... Uh, quick Draw Synchron, Level Leader, Foolish Burial, and Tuning. So everyone probably knows these four cards uh, are basically Quasar Dragon. If you do the Synchroing correctly, the Level Leading correctly, you get Quasar Dragon first turn. Uh, we draw six cards for our first turn, and the other two are these. So, what cha what's changed with the new summoning method? What's changed is basically that if you just want to just start the duel and Synchro Summon immediately, you can only Synchro Summon one monster to the field. Um, so, because the idea is that you have this extra zone, at, basically that's a kind of neutral area in the middle between your field and your opponent's field. There's two of them, and basically you choose whichever one you want uh, when you uh, summon from your extra deck the first time. And you can summon that one synchro monster to that area, and then that's it, basically. As far as I'm aware, you can still like summon like a tuner monster into your normal field, and then you could do like a... Uh, I suppose you can still summon cards like um, uh, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, you could still summon because that's a tuner with a synchro. But how on earth do you do summonings with um, synchro tuners for really complicated stuff like Quasar Dragon? Um, and so that's where the whole idea of Link summoning comes into play. The idea here is that Link cards, this is a really, really bad thing, but like, this is the one I'm going to use for this duel. This card doesn't exist yet, well let's just assume it's a Link 3, which means that, uh, as far as we're aware, the summoning method is basically that if it's a Link 3, you require three monsters, let's just say it's three effect monsters in this case, to summon this Link card. The attack doesn't matter for the sake of this. What does matter is these uh, directional things here. Uh, I think there's meant to be ones going off to the left and right as well. But for this case, we need three of them pointing down into our own field. Because the idea with link cards is that you you summon this into your extra monster zone. And this basically links from your extra zone to your normal field and allows like other spots on your main monster field to become um, basically extra monster zones as well. So you can Xyz summon in them, you can fusion summon into them, and you can synchro summon into them. So you need to have this in play to basically get the access to three synchro zones on the field. The trick comes into how do you on the first turn summon a link three link monster in addition to Quasar Dragon? And I think that's what I figured out here. So let's briefly go through the combo and how it works. So Again, as I said, there's probably a much more efficient way of actually doing this. But um, I, I basically say Foolish Burial, and then from your deck, you uh, put Quillbow Hedgehog to the graveyard. Um, so that's that. Then you activate Tuning, and what you target in your deck is you get Unknown Synchron to your hand, and then 
here's where the luck kind of comes into play. As I said, there's probably a better way to get more monsters in the graveyard to make this thing work, but you have to hope that on the secondary effect of tuning, where you have to send a top card of your deck to your graveyard, that you send another Quillbolt Hedgehog to the graveyard. And then I suppose you can see where I'm going here. Uh, your opponent, you're, take, you're taking the second turn, your, your opponent has a monster on the field, so you can special summon Unknown Synchron. It's a tuner, so you can special summon your two, um, your two Quill Bolts onto the field. Uh, and, um, and from there, you can do the Link Summon, as far as you're aware. Which is basically just, it says, from the field, send the required materials uh, into the graveyard. So, three effect monsters to the graveyard, and we have our <laughs> makeshift uh, link three with the three zones. And so we put that, let's just say, here. And you can sort of see what I'm going for potentially here, um, in that it's tar the arrows are pointing at this monster zone, this zone, and this zone. So they are now, we now have the ability to synchro into those zones, and then we've got the two ones over here, which we can't synchro into, but we can do other stuff with. Um, from there we just proceed to f perform the usual um, kind of Quasar Dragon standard play of like uh, with Quick Draw Synchron discard level leaders, summon Quick Draw Synchron, normal summon uh, Junk Synchron to get level leader back without having to eat a level, um, which summons a <laughs> Doppelwire to the field. So you have those four cards on the board. Um, then you synchro with uh, Quick Draw Synchron, Level Eater, and Doppel Warrior into Road Warrior. Road Warrior, and then you get two Doppel Tokens because you synchroed with um, Doppel Warrior. So from there, what you do is you you level eat Road Warrior for one, so he's down to a level seven. And you see, you can you've basically used up all your zones, but here's the other thing with this: um, you have to be very careful with how you use the zones. Um, and the reason I say that is because in practice for this, I did it wrong, and I actually couldn't and ended up not able to not be able to actually do it. So, Road Warrior is synchroed into our right spot here. Um, what we need to actually do is actually like organize the doppel to tokens differently. We need to actually have a uh, level eater over here because we're constantly going to be like synchroing in and out with level eater. Um, and then we need to leave this extra one which isn't used until like the end or I think it's all in the combo <laughs> until the very end. So from there we synchro with one of the doppel tokens which is a level one. Uh, and level leader for a level five synchro, which uh, you can do anyone once it's a, not a tuner. But most people use hyper librarian because of the drawing effect, and obviously we have to synchro that into one of the zones that our link card is pointing into. We level lead again, so road warrior goes down to being a level six. Um, at this stage, we activate Road Warrior's effect, which is that we can special summon a level 2 or lower, lower warrior or machine type monster from the deck. And what you need is basically just a level 1 uh, tuner monster. So in this case, Jet Synchron, because it's a Synchron deck. And um, we just uh, tune with uh, Jet and Level Eater for Formula Synchron which allows us to draw two cards, one for Hyper Librarian's effect, one for Summoning Jet Synchron. Doesn't matter what these two cards are. And then you level eat again, because level eat is in the graveyard again. This puts Road Warrior down to five. And as you can see, we are now um, able to perform the summon. So Road Warrior is now level five after three level eats. Hyper Librarian's a five. There's a Tuner Synchro um, on level two. And that allows us to Synchro Summon together into our shooting Quasar Dragon. Now, let me know in the comments if you actually think this is how it works. And obviously, of course, let me know if there's actually a combo that allows you to do this without the look of the tuning also putting another quill boat to the graveyard. I may be just really bad at Yu-Gi-Oh here, but unable to think of something that doesn't require the look. But to me, that was just like, okay, like, 
you can still do stuff with this deck, it's just a lot slower now. Um, and it also means that you do have to use up some of your extra deck slots for links. Because they, they do say that you can actually link with other link monsters once you summon them, so there is a way to kind of do it more effectively. And then it says from the field in the description, but like I'm kind of wondering, can you just summon it from your hand? Like if you just have three extra monsters in hand, could you just link summon it immediately or what? But uh, either way, I, I think that's the kind of, uh, for me at least, the most effective way I found to summon Quasar Dragon on the first turn while still keeping within the rules of the, the game. So uh, yeah, that has been the video. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.